School can sometimes be tough, and after a long school year, there's nothing better than a good summer break. Most kids look forward to this much-needed time, and for sure the teachers do as well. In the 1980s, summer breaks were awesome, and many of the things kids used to do are now frowned upon. In this video, we will have a look back and remember some of those special times during the summer. If you wanted to hang out with your friends, then there was absolutely nothing wrong with showing up at their house unannounced. Just hop on your bike and surprise a friend by ringing the doorbell. That may be unheard of today, but back then it was the only way to roll. From there it was off to various adventures. Perhaps you went and played on a playground that today would be considered unsafe. The playground equipment was made out of solid steel and had no give if you had an impact with it. And remember the merry-go-round? You and your friend would spin that thing as fast as you could to see how dizzy you got until you went flying off of it onto the hard ground. That was the closest feeling you could get to being a stuntman on television. If you survived the playground with no serious injuries, then you and your friends would set off on a bike ride with no helmet. Usually these were much further than you thought they would be, and the amazing thing was that no one carried a water bottle. If you did get thirsty, then hopefully you could just stop by someone's house that you knew and have a delicious and refreshing drink from the water hose. Of course, all of that riding around was going to make you hungry. At some point, it was time to stop and have the whole gang eat at your house. Your mom had just gotten back from the grocery store and there was plenty of bologna, Wonder Bread, mustard, and potato chips for everyone. Or at least that's what you thought. Looks like mom now needs to go back to the store again. After lunch, maybe you set off on another bike ride to your favorite fishing hole, and if they weren't biting, then it was time to build the biggest bike ramp out of plywood and some stacked bricks. It may not have been the safest, but it sure was fun. These bike adventures could continue all day until the streetlights came on, and at that point, it was time to go home. But that did not mean that the adventures stopped. Did you ever look for frogs at night and then feed them fireflies to watch them glow on the inside? Or maybe you released a jar full of lightning bugs in your room so that you had something to look at while you fell asleep. Nothing made mom happier than seeing bugs inside the house. No matter what, we always found something to do. Even if we didn't have it, we tried to create it. Most of us didn't have a playhouse that was purchased from the store. We built them. Usually they were made from scrap lumber and materials that could be found easily and no one else wanted them. If we didn't have a slip and slide, then that was no problem either. A tarp and some dish soap would do the trick. However, you definitely had to be tough for those as they were not as smooth. Break dancing became huge in the 80s and many kids collected cardboard so they could try out their latest b-boy moves in the driveway. At the very least, everyone tried to learn how to do the wave and the moonwalk. After you worked up a sweat, then it was time to run through the sprinklers to cool off a little from the hot summer sun. Being home all day also gave kids ample time to make multiple mixtapes, and that was no easy task. You had to have a radio and a tape recorder ready so you could catch your favorite songs. If the stupid DJ talked too long, then you would have to try and catch it the next time. While you were waiting on those songs, you might have looked through some magazines to cut out some new decorations for your bedroom. The more you could tack up on the wall, the better. Many kids got summer jobs by harassing their neighbors to hire them to mow the yard or wash their car even though they were completely unqualified. You needed the money so you could buy your own treats, music, magazines, toys, and more. Kids were not afraid to do a little work for a little cash. Summertime was also a time when you got to spend a little bit more time with Grandma, which was great. She was going to spoil you with your favorite meals and desserts, but in return, you were going to have to watch a little bit of soap operas with her. Summer vacations were something that everyone looked forward to each year, even if it was just going to a state or national park. In the weeks leading up to it, mom would be in the living room exercising to a jazzercise video so she could have that perfect body. 
While she was doing that, kids usually looked on and consumed an entire box of Lucky Charms. When you finally left on vacation, you would usually eat sandwiches out of the back of a station wagon at a rest stop because your parents refused to pay money for fast food. Those trips also involved your parents taking you to see a piece of history. Of course, as kids, we were obligated to give them the mandatory eye roll just to annoy them whether we enjoyed it or not. When you got back from all of those places, you couldn't wait to see your friends again. Our only hope was that they would be there and not on vacation themselves. If they were gone, it was the perfect opportunity to head to the library and catch up on some reading. The goal was to read just enough books to make sure that you earned enough stamps so that you could get your personal pan pizza from Pizza Hut. There was nothing quite like heading to Pizza Hut with your friends and getting a free pizza. Some of that money that you earned from your job could be spent on playing Pac-Man, which was also a favorite there. Weekends throughout the summer were always fun. That was the time when your parents would allow you to have sleepovers. One weekend you might be at your friend's house, and the next it would be at your house. This was also the time when you would try to convince your mom to take you to the roller skating rink. It was a great place to cool off from the summer heat, listen to your favorite music while skating, playing some more arcade games, and of course hanging out with your friends. Usually most kids rotated between the skating rink, bowling alley, and the mall. These were the places where everything was happening and it was our social network for the time. They were also the places where we saw our crushes and if we got up the nerve we would go up and talk to them. But that didn't always happen. In fact, the slow dance songs at the skating rink usually meant that the floor would be almost entirely empty. Another weekend activity that many people did in the 80s was head to the video store. Hopefully we could get that big hit movie that we had been wanting to see. If not, we certainly didn't want to go home empty handed. That usually meant that we would aimlessly wander the entire store looking for something to watch. Sometimes we got something good and other times we didn't, but that was all part of the fun. If our friends would be over for a slumber party, then this was the perfect time to rent those horror movies for some late night scares. The summertime is when we did all sorts of activities that we normally didn't do. Many kids used puffy paint on just about everything. Girls might bedazzle a jean jacket while boys would maybe sew or pin on their favorite metal bands. We also did dumb things like baking mud pies because we'd heard about others doing it. No matter what, we never seemed to get bored, and if we were, we sure wouldn't want to admit that to our parents because they would find something for us to do. That would mean that it would be additional work on top of your regular chores. Before you knew it, summer was coming to an end. No one really wanted to go back to school, but somehow back to school shopping made it a little bit easier. This is when most kids got new clothes, shoes, and school supplies. Once those were purchased, we couldn't wait to go back to school and show them off. Who could ever forget the smell of new clothes in the hallways? Unfortunately, this event marked the official end of summer for kids. However, this didn't stop us from dreaming of the next one. What were some of your special memories of summers in the 80s? Let us know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching.